Hey everybody, welcome to the Weekly Fix. As always, I am Neil. This week, uh, big news from Kawasaki, 636 is coming your way. Uh, new R3 2019 with some updates. Monster Energy recap uh, in Vegas, we gotta talk about it. And Tom Cruise spotted riding into the danger zone. All right, if this is your first time watching The Fix, well, of course, welcome. All we do is talk about power sports and things powered by gas. So, uh, again, click, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do to follow us. And also, I wanna say thanks to the folks that uh, partook in our adventure to the AIM Expo in Vegas. We had a good time. Wasn't as big as we had hoped, but there was still some pretty cool stuff to check out. So, thank you again. Welcome to the track. Welcome to the proving grounds. Welcome to the streets. Welcome to the concrete battlegrounds. To rule the track and run the streets, it takes fearless instincts. All right, so Kawi has released the 2019 Ninja, the ZX6R, also the 636 as we like to call it, which we saw last week in Vegas, so thank you very much. Anyways, I'm just gonna run through the stats for you. So, pretty simple, some cool updates though. Uh, slipper and assist clutch, vital when you're running a bunch of horsepower like that. Drop a couple gears, lets you not skip out, keeps it planted, and of course, a lighter feel on the clutch itself. With that though, which is a big deal, is we're getting quick shift. So, now you can go ahead and slam them up and get it going, kind of a nice race feature. Uh, LED headlights, twin in the front, and a tail light, so pretty slick, and even new Bridgestone tread. But the big kicker with this, and you'll see it on all their ads, these bikes are starting at $99.99. So again, killer deal, awesome bike. I mean, honestly, a bunch of us had leader bikes in the past, but we always go back to the 600s. They're the most fun, you can choke them out. So anyways, you'll see those soon. They are being released, and like I said, we saw them in Vegas. Badass looking bike, can't wait to get on it. All right, so Yamaha's at it again. The R1 got some updates. The R6 got updates last year. So for 2019, the R3 is getting a few little touches. So redesigned front fairing, uh, a little bit slimmer LED headlights, as they're calling it, a new tank shape. But the big deal on this is the front fork, which is a KYB uh, 37 mil inverted fork. So I mean, the fork's already inverted anyways, but this is wider, makes it stiffer, makes it better. So also going to an LCD cluster. And then for you tech heads out there, Still staying around 56 miles to the gallon and a whopping 42 horsepower. I know it doesn't sound like much, but honestly, that's, I mean, it'll go freeway speeds, no problem. So, uh, and the same thing too, keeping the MSRP the same. So this thing still comes in starting at $49.99 and those will be available at the end of the year. Eli Tomac, three for three on this Saturday night in Vegas. He becomes the third rider in history to win all three rounds of the Monster Energy Cup and take a million and Jesse Hebert, you're a millionaire as well. And the celebration is on in Las Vegas. All right, Supercross is alive and well, and if you checked it out over the weekend, of course, Monster Energy Cup, the ridiculous format that is so fun to watch with three mains, winner take all. Well, Eli Tomac, uh, kicked everybody's ass, so kudos to him. But the cool thing was, if you did watch, was the third main, he uh, kind of got pushed back to seventh, worked his way through, which is always amazing at that level of rider. Bags that won a cool million dollars, but almost bigger news was that Villapoto came out of retirement and you saw him in the first main, so that was pretty awesome. Anderson never lets me down. He was there messing around. My favorite Marvin, he was doing a good job, but he couldn't repeat. Uh, it was a great race as always, and it just gets us excited because come January, A1, A2, San Diego, can't wait for Supercross. Hopefully you're as excited as we are. Well, if you're my age, you grew up with Top Gun. I saw it when I was in high school. It was a game changer. It was a life-changing movie, but honestly, it's coming back. So, uh, I think it was People Magazine of all places leaked this photo. You got Mr. Tom Cruise riding the new Ninja, of course, H2. So it looks pretty awesome. Uh, guess it's gonna be called um, Top Gun Maverick, where he's an instructor. It'll be out in, I think they said 2020, so obviously it's still got a lot of time to get that done. Only thing I'm saying to Mr. Cruise is, you know what, you gotta wear a helmet one of these times in one of your movies on a motorcycle, it would help the youth of today. So anyways, it should be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, well, maybe he'll do, maybe maybe he'll go 12 o'clock this time. And we'll see some action instead of going really fast and shaking his fist. So we'll find out. 